The medical examiner's report in the police killing of Jalen Walker in Akron, Ohio. The report finding Walker was wounded dozens of times after a police chase last month. ABC's Zachary Keish has more. This morning, the autopsy report for Jalen Walker revealing he was killed by a barrage of bullets. Officials can't say which shot killed the 25-year-old, but the medical examiner did confirm 26 bullets were recovered from his body. The autopsy determined that Jalen had 46 gunshot wound entrances or graze injuries. In a statement, Walker's family said the report confirms the violent and unnecessary use of force by the Akron Police Department on an unarmed young man, writing, after being hit nearly four dozen times, officers still handcuffed him while he lay motionless and bleeding. It's absolutely devastating. The information that we heard today, it's a lot to take in. Akron police say they initially attempted to pull Walker over for traffic and equipment violations. He allegedly refused to stop, which set off a chase. When a person refuses to pull over, there's so many different scenarios why the person's not stopping. The body cam shows Walker exiting the car and running away when he was shot and killed. According to police, a gun was later recovered inside the car, but Walker was unarmed when he was shot. After several weeks of protest, Akron's mayor has developed a racial equity and social justice initiative. Several of the items relate to police accountability and transparency. Whit. Zachary, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.